On 26 July 2016, as I was soaking chickpeas overnight before cooking them, I found a chickpea that felt hollow and looked darker than normal. Using my fingers, I pried it open and found two bugs inside, which you can see here. I can't identify these bugs. They look different from the chickpea pests discussed on this page, as well as any chickpea bugs that I can find on Google Images. This study says that, quote, among the insect pests attacking stored products, pulse beetle is a serious one, end quote. But I don't think these are pulse beetles. These bugs look sort of like foreign grain beetles, but I'm somewhat doubtful about my bugs being foreign grain beetles. It's fortunate that I found this bug-infested chickpea, because otherwise these bugs would have drowned in the soaking water. Or maybe they would have been still alive when I cooked the chickpeas the next day, in which case they would have been boiled alive. Some bugs can survive for hours submerged in water. Boiling alive intuitively sounds like one of the most awful ways to die, and that supposition is reinforced by numerous studies showing that insects react aversively in response to excessive heat. In any case, I probably wouldn't discourage people from eating chickpeas because I suspect that chickpeas are, on the whole, some of the better foods to eat with respect to insect suffering on crop fields, since based on pictures of chickpea fields, it looks like the net primary productivity of these plants is relatively low. The chickpea that contained these insects was in a bulk bag of chickpeas. I don't know if these insects were already in the chickpea bag at the store, or if they crawled in later. In the latter case, they could have been prevented by storing the chickpea bag in a sealed plastic container or in the freezer. Thank you.